I'm uh, back at this building that we decided to uh, put together that it was a uh, if you haven't seen the on track Tuesday I showed it off pretty much as you can see I painted it started painting it and I did decide not to drill out the windows as you can see I painted them black in there and uh, started painting the stone I painted it uh, uh, granite gray Walmart paint yeah, apple barrel walnut paint touched up the a couple of the stone just to give it a off look <coughs> and uh, I used uh, burn umber and uh, um, international beige for other colors Okay, and then uh, I just I decided. Well, I'm gonna take this. As you can see, I did on there's the front, and I'm gonna add. This, these are ones that I haven't touched yet. I thought I'd better film some of this before I get too far ahead of myself. So I had some. I don't know if you can see it in there, but a wash that I made a while back and uh, decided to wash it which really seemed to bring it out and that one ain't as dry as maybe that one that gives it a lot better of a look I think Let's see what you think but uh, once it dries it looks actually pretty good so I'm going to do these the, the front and this other side here and then I'll get back and uh, to the next thing I do. All right, back. Okay, I'm back, and I got the other ones hit with the wash, which gave it a lot dirtier look, a little older look, which I like. I decided to paint the windows and door uh, green. And I purposely, you can see it looks kind of grungy looking. It's only really one coat. I put it on there and I kind of wanted to have the, like the marks in it. So it would look, give it that look like it's been well used. So, and I didn't mention it, but if anybody wants to know, this was a American Structure Works. It's an old kit. You can see it was the price tag that was on there. I don't know if that was from the train show or whatever but it was a division of Carolina train specialties so which I think we've all heard of them and that gets us now to letting the paint dry and I want to get some uh, acetate it didn't come with any I got some here and I think I'm going to put try to put some glass in these uh, which might be interesting getting a cut, especially for these little ones. Eh? If you look here, that, that little ones are little, so almost end scale size. <laughs> so we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. And I did a little experiment while I was gone. You see here? Try to get a little closer. You see the boarded up window I did <laughs> that's pretty cool so I'm gonna do the other back window just set this back out of here only this time I'm gonna show you what I did All right. let me get some stuff out of the way here grab a little bit of material 
I'm using matchsticks. Actually using matchsticks, eh? They worked out good. I just have to cut them to size. All I did was, you can see here, I stick it down in, let it get down into, it's like a little lip down in there. Take it. Mark it with the pencil. So it'd be a little bit tight. <coughs> and I take hold the end that I'm going to use. Sometimes this stuff seems to split. Alright. Go to my mark. Just took a pair of dikes and cut it off. Set it down in there. Cut this one a little short, I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Just sits in there a little differently. Take another one. Put it down in there. Get my pencil. Make the mark. Hold the end that I want to use. Take my side cutters, my handy dandy cut all. There. Might have to use some fine stuff here. I'm trying to keep it so that. Cut this one just a tad long. <laughs> in place. Kind of strong arm it in. Board number two. Let's go to board number three. What's nice about this, it makes it look a little rustic like some railroad guy who don't really know carpentry. Get this up real quick. Somebody like me. <laughs> but, but really, I'll show you what really done. You got all done here. keep my big hand out of the way so you can still see what I'm doing. That one there is a little loose. One more. Let's see what this one does. Trying not to be silent here, but we're doing highly intensive, detailed work here. I'm going to have to snip a little off of that one, I think. Make it work. I didn't have as much problem. There. You can see there. Here, let me hold it up here. Okay. Now, take, where to put it? Here it is. My handy dandy homemade wash, which all it is is paint and watered way down. And a little drop of uh, uh, of uh, dishwashing liquid, and I just paint her up. Whoop. Sorry if you get it off the other place; it'll just make it look dirty. 
That's what I used before. I'm sure you could have everything covered. You don't want new looking wood on there. All right. it's wet right now but when that dries a little bit it looks like this which I thought looks pretty good what do you think what do you think and I'll get to save two small windows for another project <laughs> all right I think I'm gonna keep the front ones up I might I might put the window in there and see if I can figure something out to, I don't know. We'll have to look, see what it looks like. All right, all right. So much for this condition here, huh? I'm back, I got the doors and the windows in. Ah, oh, they're, they're glued in. Uh, I also put some acetate in behind them, as you can see. Well, maybe you can see. You can see the shine there when you... Okay. I'd also glued those in. Uh, you can see it. But we're about ready to start putting this thing together so alrighty back with you